Hey you. I'm Shane Martin. And I'm Austin Garner. So uh, tomorrow's Halloween. Halloween. We're having our Halloween episode. Yeah, we are. You getting ready? You gonna go trick or treating tomorrow? Oh, you know it. I'm gonna nice. go to my neighbor's, get a full size candy bar, and then nice. uh, probably go do some homework because it's a responsible thing to do. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, last weekend was my fun week, so mm -hmm. I feel that. What are you what doing? Are you? Um, I might go around. I've got a late class after that. I think I'll go around the neighborhood, see if I can pick up some candy. Gonna dress up as a Ninja Turtle. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah. Are you dressing up? Yeah, I'm like Scooby. I mean, well, I mean, of course. Of I didn't course. know if you had something yeah, else. You can't planned. tell by the hat. But, you know, <laughs> or my floating head, because it's beautiful. It is, yeah. I, I think we're looking pretty spooky, pretty fitting for the, it is. for the day. But uh, other than Halloween, I hear you're going to the Chiefs game tomorrow, or tonight. My yes, bad. I'm going to the Chiefs game. My friend texted me last Friday. He's like, you want to go? I'm like, yes, I want to go. So, just got some homework done, people covered my work shift. It's lucky. I'm I'm, I'm happy. I've got to go to class tonight, so. Ooh, what class do you have? I've got a film 200 class. Ooh. What do you, just what a, you, nice, what do you... a nice three-hour lecture, 6.30 to 9.30. Oh, that sounds fantastic, It's man. great. I love no it. No other way I'd spend my Monday no, evenings. Absolutely not. That's real relaxing. That is. You just watch movies and talk about, or what do you do? We, uh, most times, we just sit and just kind of listen, learn about different parts of the film. Sometimes we watch a movie if we're lucky. No, oh, I'd like to watch a movie. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know. Or just... Not learn about film, you know. <laughs> That's yeah, I can yeah. understand that. Are you going to the basketball game at all? Uh, no, I've got a class tomorrow as well. Oh, I'd love to go. I'm not going, but I want to go. Yeah, it would Just be it would be pretty game, fun to watch us beat up on Pitt State, and be, it's no better way to spend a Tuesday evening. No, none. I mean, better than what I'm going to be doing. So <laughs> true. Up late, stressing about weather. <laughs> I do. I do know it's gonna be pretty cold on Halloween, so yeah, bundle up. Yeah, it's gonna be. I think top ten cold I'm, from what I've heard and looked at. It's rough. I'm, I'm not excited for that. No, part, not though. at all. I'm getting tired of this cold already. Oh, I know. Are you a spring summer person? Mm -hmm. I'm more of a t-shirt and shorts. I don't like having to yeah. bust out the jackets. No, so. I don't like jackets. It's, it's too warm. Mm -hmm. Wearing a jacket, then especially now when it's you know 30 in the morning and 70. In the afternoon, it, can't it's, keep up with it. It's fantastic. I mean, I don't know. I, I got hot walking here today, and I had <laughs> jeans and a coat on. I kind of steam. Yeah, no, I understand. I can feel that. I think they turned the heat on, and it's no bueno. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it. No. Are you doing anything fun the rest of the week at all? Um, I think I might go back this weekend. Might go back home, go see my grandpa for his birthday. Okay. But other than that, I'm just gonna. Try to get all my classes, get everything I need to do done. I need to do that, yeah. I'll be going home. Since I live in Olathe, I'll probably spend the night there. So. Yeah. I know. But it's it's not bad. I'm no. enjoying it. I like this weather, even though it could be warmer. Yeah, it's kind of gloomy today, mm -hmm. though. Cloudy. I think it's snowing in Missouri. Oh, God. I'm not ready for snow at all. But if it's gonna be cold, I want it to snow. Yeah, no. If it's gonna be, if it's gonna be as cold as it's been, might as well be able to throw a snowball or something. Yeah, I mean, try and get class canceled at least. <laughs> no, for sure. If it's if I'm gonna have to wear a parka, might as well, uh, might as well. As long get... as it's not Friday. Exactly. I don't, have, I don't have classes on Friday, so. I don't need to do I. It's the best. Let's make it a Thursday or a Monday. True. Get four days off. That'd be nice. I'm for my three-day weeks, and I like four better. <laughs> No, every every weekend's a three-day weekend. That's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. Uh, yeah. Um, I think we'll have uh, the news coming up next after this, so stick around. local in the heart of the city, you support the people that make our community thrive. The money you spend here stays here. In this place we call our home. Lawrence, Kansas, where there's good old-fashioned hometown pride. Eat local, drink local, shop local.
Welcome back. I'm Hannah Helverson, and this is your morning Good Morning KU News. If you managed to stay up late last night, you were probably watching the World Series, and your award was the Instant Classic. The Houston Astros eventually won the game 13 to 12 in extra innings to take a 3 to 2 lead in the series. Both teams rallied from a multiple run deficits, but it was the Astros who scored last to secure the victory. Tonight is the travel day, and Game Six will be in LA on Tuesday. The Chiefs will take on the Broncos tonight with a chance to take control of the AFC uh, West. Kansas City is 5-2, while the Broncos are 3-3. Three three. Both the Raiders and the Chargers lost yesterday and are 3-5. Kickoff is at 7.30 p.m. The KU football team played better but still lost. Kansas State in the Sunflower Showdown 30-20 on Saturday, but the Jayhawks were in the game until the final drive. Quarterback Carter Stanley threw for more than 400 yards, and Steven Sims Jr. caught nine passes for 233 yards and a touchdown. KU will have the best chance, at, best chance for a Big 12 victory this week when Baylor comes to town. The Bears are winless on the season. The volleyball team suffered a rare loss on the roads, falling to Iowa State in four sets on Saturday. The Jayhawks are now 19-4 and four in the season and 8-2 and two in the Big 12 Conference. KU will travel to TCU on Saturday for a 2 p.m. match against the Horned Frogs. The soccer team lost to West Virginia on Friday. It was senior night, but the Jayhawks could not score a goal in a 2-0 loss to close the regular season. The Big 12 tournament begins on Wednesday at Swope Soccer Village in Kansas City, and KU will take on TCU in the first round. Kickoff is at 8 p.m. on Wednesday. And finally, some good news from the Big 12 Cross Country Champions. Junior Sharon Lokiti won the women's race for the second year in a row, and the two-time All-American finished 6K course in just over 20 minutes for the victory. Junior Elena Skorarder ran 21-01 to finish the 11th and helped the team play sixth overall. And that's a wrap for today's news. Stay tuned for Brittany with the weather. Have a nice day. You too. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Brittany Foster. I'm filling in for Gabby today, and it's a cold Monday to start off. We're going to start off outside with Madison Gordon, a former or a current atmospheric science major as well. Madison, I'm happy I'm inside because it's chilly outside. Oh, yeah, it's feeling pretty cool, and the wind's picking up. So I see everybody out here in their jackets and their boots, and I'm even seeing a few pairs of sweatpants, which, you know, I wish I was wearing some too. Um, but it's also pretty overcast out here. Um, I'm hoping that it clears up because other than that, it'd be a nice day. It is actually. Those clouds are supposed to clear away as we progress throughout the day today. And we will have a lot of windy conditions. If you think it's windy now, just wait until later this evening because it's going to get pretty more windy. Do you feel comfortable in what you're in now? Oh, yeah. I've got my big coat on, and that's definitely helping me out. Though, like I said, I do wish I was wearing some sweatpants because my legs are getting really cold. But. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for that live update outside. We're going to throw it back in here now and talk about your weather headlines for later on this week. Once we get that pulled up for a few seconds, it'll eventually come up. Hopefully. 
hey, I have weather graphics, so cool. Let's go ahead and start talking about your weather headlines. Cold and windy, like I said today. Those clouds are going to clear, though, throughout the day. And then a brief warm-up ahead throughout the middle of the week, but we will quickly cool down later on as the, day, or the week progresses. Right now here, uh, we are sitting at a temperature of 50 degrees. We won't change much. Uh, later on for your high today, mostly cloudy skies and those northwest winds from that cold front are out at 10 miles per hour, but they will definitely pick up later on today. And here's why, like I said, that cold front moved through overnight last night, giving us those very windy conditions out of the north and that cold wind, giving us those temperatures in the 50s. But other than that, current radar, there's some storms up to the north of us or a few uh, patches of showers. Nothing that affected us here in Lawrence today, but Kansas City got a few bits of showers today. But other than that, nothing that's going to affect us today and that's going to continue to move out later on. Today we're going to have a high of 52 degrees, pretty chilly, most probably partly cloudy skies, those clearing skies as well, and those winds are going to pick up, so have the proper layers on, definitely can uh, have that coat on with you as you go out throughout the day today. And then along with that, your hourly planner shows that temperatures aren't going to change that much. 52 for your high, and already by uh, 5 p.m. we're going to be at a temperature of 48 degrees with those windy conditions, so pretty boring day and very cold. Uh, for your Monday. Here's a Chiefs game forecast. 45 degrees for the Chiefs game. It's going to feel cooler though because due to those wings, so, winds, so have the scarf and gloves with you. And by the time you leave the game and the game's over, it's going to be in the 30s for temperatures. And again, with those wind chills, it's going to be pretty cold. So very cold for your Chiefs game. Hopefully we win though. And then tonight, as we go through your overnight hours and tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up with a low in the 20s tomorrow, 26 degrees. So very cold when you wake up tomorrow morning. Keep that in mind on for your Halloween, matter of fact. And for Halloween, when you go out trick-or-treating for those kids, it's going to be very cold. 43 degrees by 5 o'clock, and by 8 o'clock, we are already in the 30s. So make sure you have those kids in multiple layers, coats on. Maybe consider putting those costumes on over those layers because it is going to be very cold during the trick-or-treating time. Here's your five-day forecast on Tuesday for Halloween, 45 for your high. Wednesday, we're going to warm up a little bit to 58 degrees. By Thursday, we're at 67, the warmest day for this week. And by Friday, at 55 degrees. So pretty cold and chilly throughout this week. So make sure you have the proper layers on and try to stay warm. Thanks for tuning in to Good Morning KU.